Hello friends, welcome back to iPhoneTopics.com. Today we are going to learn how to fix iPhone keeps connecting and disconnecting from Mac with few simple tips. Let's get started. Tip number one, check whether the cable has any physical damage. If your iPhone lightning cable has any physical damage, replace it immediately. Tip number two, Check whether the cable is uh, in loose contact with Mac and as well as your iPhone. Tip number three, if you are having a replacement of your cable, don't buy any third party cable. Check whether the cable or accessories is Apple certified thing. Tip number four, try for and restart. Restart your Mac and as well as your iPhone. This may solve the issue. Tip number 5. Unplug your device. Your iPhone from the Mac, unplug it again. Tip number 6. Reset privacy settings on your iPhone. To do that, launch settings. Tap on general. Tap on reset. So now tap on Reset location and privacy, enter the passcode and tap on reset. So your location and privacy settings has been reset on your iPhone. Tip number 7, check for and software update both on your Mac and also your iPhone. If the devices is asking for an update, update it immediately. Tip number 8, check whether your Mac has any bug and clear it immediately. To do that, connect your iPhone to your Mac. Then on the menu bar, just um, go to Utilities, then Terminal. So now we have to enter the command. And it will be asked for a password, enter the Mac Pro password. So now all the bugs on your Mac has been uh, deleted and uh, tip number 9 check for your battery life check you have enough battery on your Mac so this will um, short off the connectivity issue so the final tip have SMC reset for your Mac before doing this unplug iPhone from your Mac then turn off your Mac and plug it with the power cord. Press and hold the shift control option and the power button until the light blinks on your power cord. Once the light blinks on your power cord that means that SMC has successfully resetted. So hope these tips will help you to sort out your issue. If none of these helps you, try to contact Apple support. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe to iPhonetopics.com.